<laughs> I am very, very cold this morning. It is about 30 degrees here in North Carolina. I'm in Guilford County, North Carolina. And today I'm going to try and photograph the Northern Cardinal. Now the Northern Cardinal is a very common bird here in North Carolina. And the Northern Cardinal is a bird of the eastern part of the United States and the central part of the United States. It can be found as far north as Nova Scotia, Canada. And there are populations that can be found in Mexico. But here in North Carolina, they're an extremely common bird here. As a matter of fact, they're so common that a lot of times, including myself, I have not photographed them because they're just... This is one thing I find interesting. This is a deer rub. White-tailed deer here in North Carolina will rub their antlers, or male deer will rub their antlers against this tree as like a signpost during mating season, and they leave a little bit of musk on it. Now, deer seeds are the rut has been over here in North Carolina since the end of November, so it is January, so it's been about six weeks since it's an end, and I can still smell that musk on this tree here. But one thing that a lot of hunters mistake is they'll see a rub like this and they'll say, oh, the huge deer must have made that. The truth of the matter is that this rub is used by many deer and it is used year after year after year. If you look at this tree, there are scars on top of scars on top of scars. So. When you see a rub like this, don't automatically assume that it's from a giant deer. Most of the time, it's multiple deer have made this rub. Let me talk about my setup a little bit. The sun, I've just seen the sun peak above the uh, horizon here. It's just starting to rise here. So I'm set up here, the sun's over there. I'm expecting the birds to be over here. There's a little ridge behind you that has uh, evergreen trees in it, all kinds of native grasses that are all excellent food sources for cardinals. Now cardinals are vegetarians, so they eat uh, seeds and uh, fruits is their entire diet. So I really expect to see these birds around here. Now cardinals are bigger birds than other birds. So generally speaking, they don't, like to get moving until they get a little bit of sunlight on them and stuff like that. So I'm really hoping that as I move along this little ridge here, I will see these birds sunbathing and be able to get some good images of them. And that's my plan this morning. Well, like I said, the sunrise is just occurring as I'm speaking to you. I have my camera set at ISO 20,000. I have my aperture open all the way, shooting at 600 millimeter. I'm getting a shutter speed of about 640. Now, I really expect that to change rapidly as soon as the sun comes up a little bit more. I expect to be shooting at about an ISO of 1200, 1250, um, and getting a shutter speed in the neighborhood of 1500, one fifteen hundredth of a second. That's kind of an ideal speed VI here, photographing these birds because like every other songbird, these birds are very mobile. I want really sharp, really crisp photos, and the only way I'm going to get at those is to have really fast or shutter speed of about 1500 of a second. Well, I just moved down to the end of this uh, field here because this is where the light's first hitting and I expect the activity of the birds to start here and as the day goes on or as the morning goes on, I expect to be moving up and down this hill photographing these birds here. Now, to, when I was talking about my settings earlier, to give you an example, right now I'm shooting at ISO 1600. That's giving me a shutter speed of 1 12th of a second. That is where I want to be to photograph these birds. So. I'm going to keep my settings there for now. I might even lower my ISO a little bit more or even open my uh, aperture a little bit if I want a little bit de deeper field of focus. But right now, what I got to do is just wait for the uh, Cardinals to show up. Just had a small flock of birds come through here. Um, I was able to photograph one of the song sparrows in here, but that really tells me that the activity is starting to pick up. The birds are starting to warm up a little bit and it's starting to get really, um, really active. I can hear a lot of singing going on here. So I really expect a lot more birds to start coming through here any moment now. So I'm really excited about this, but if these photographs are any good, here they are.
Have you ever noticed that when you go out on a really cold day, your camera doesn't seem to focus very sharply? And the reason for that is that the camera and the lenses are cooling down at different rates. The hood cools down at a different rate than the, the lens does versus the camera. So what happens is that because all the air is not the same temperature, there's distortions that occur inside of the lens, inside this hood area, stuff like that. Now to solve this, what I do is I take my camera equipment, I put it in my bag, and I put that bag in the back of my car. And I let it sit there about a half an hour, 45 minutes before I go out photographing this. And the reason why I put it in my, inside my bag, it will cool down slowly in the bag. But as I'm driving to where I'm going, it's not going to heat up again because I have the heat, heat on in my car. It will stay cold so that when I come out here, it takes a lot less time for the camera to adjust to the temperature that's out here. Thus, I will have much sharper images much faster. Well, I just had a golden crown kinglet come in. This is a fairly rare bird here in North Carolina. They're a winter visitor here. They breed in the northern part of the United States and into Canada. They are incredibly beautiful. They have this golden uh, uh, or yellow stripe on top of their head. This is just an incredible bird. I'm just so excited about photographing it. So if this picture is any good, here it is. Well, I've seen quite a few cardinals today. I've not been able to get any really good pictures of them. They just have not cooperated with me. Um, I think that, I'm not even sure why there's such a problem. Now, we had a major thunderstorm two days ago and everything seems to be messed up because of that. And that might have something to do with it. I mean, to tell you the truth, it would not be uncommon for me to walk around here and see, you know, 20 different cardinals here. But today I just was not able to get a photograph of them. I've seen some, I was able to get some video of them, but nothing that I really wanted to get. No really great photos or anything like that. And to tell you the truth, I am really, really cold right now. So I'm gonna end the video here. I wanna thank you for watching. If you got anything out of this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel because that really helps us in the YouTube world. Become a Patreon supporter. Your support allows us to keep doing this. My name is Sean Leahy, I wanna thank you for watching.